Join the X Ministries as we celebrate 30 years of ministry, March the 8th through the 15th. That's one week of celebration with special guest, Dr. Elaine Schaus Waller from Virginia Beach, Virginia. He's a man and a woman who are saying, This is who we will become, that we don't know fully what we're going to become, but we do know that we vow that as we come together, something bigger than each of us individually could do can now happen. Oh, somebody better bless God. And Dr. Noah Nicholson from Chicago, Illinois. Somebody just take a step. Tell the devil I'm walking over it. I'm walking out of it. I'm claiming new territory. I'm claiming new vision. I'm claiming new miracles. I'm claiming new power. Ah! That's one full week of celebration. Our theme this year is looking at ministry through 2020 spiritual lens. Don't forget, March the 8th through the 15th as Acts Ministry celebrates 30 years of ministry. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. So our goal of the year is to bring our lives into balance. When we talk about bringing our lives into balance, we're talking about in a holistic way. We're talking about not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually, relationally, financially, in every area. Now, this is not something that you can do in a day, week, or month. So the focus is to bring our lives into balance. So at the end of 2016, we will be in another place. Doesn't mean that our work will be completely done or we'll be finished or perfect, but we will not be where we are this year. We will be in another place. The goal of this ministry this year is to do what we must do so we can do what we want to do. So it's a year of sacrifice. It's a season of sacrifice. And we're trying to bring our lives into balance. We've been talking about Samson. And I believe Samson really, he is a character in the Bible that exemplifies a person that is unbalanced emotionally. And we're spending a great deal of time talking about emotional balance because it affects us in every way. If our emotions are out of balance, it's going to affect us physically because what you're going to have is emotional eating if it's out of balance emotions are out of balance it's going to affect us financially you're going to have emotional spending if it's out of balance in relationship we're going to make emotional decisions and choices and we're going to be out of balance so it's so important that we balance our lives and we study the word of god to see what the word of god is saying has said And to examine the lives of the people, real people, not make-believe people, but real people. And we can learn from their lives. We can learn from the life of Samson. We don't have to make the same mistakes that Samson made. We can look at his life, hear what the Word of God said to him, how he disobeyed, uh, what he did right, what he did wrong. And we can glean from that. So when we look at the life of Samson, I believe we left off talking about the the first uh temptation, if you will, the first temptation that that Delilah brought to him was, show me where your great strength is. This is Delilah. This is what she asked him. Show me where your great strength. And of course, Samson lied. He is playing her. And that's why I want every person that, that think that they are a player to understand that every player is being played and being played by a greater force. 
an invisible force, a demonic force. So Samson told her the first thing he said to her, and Samson said to her, if they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like another man. So the lords of the Philistine brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait, stand with her in the room, and she said to him, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstring as a strand of yarn breaks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Elilah says to Samson, look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now please tell me what you may be bound with. So here's Delilah, and she's trying to get the secret of Samson's strength, which he was never supposed to reveal. The thing about this is Samson is so confident. He is not just confident in God. He, his, his confidence is in himself. He is feeling invincible. Because God had rescued him so many more, so many times. And any time you start doing something and you don't see the consequences of it. Because sentence is not executed speedily upon an evil work. Because God doesn't punish you immediately. There is a, instead of, instead of a celebration of grace and being appreciative, many times what happens, people become invincible. This is Samson. So now he tells her a lie. And in the midst of the lie, she, she goes and work through it, bind him with these seven bow strings, but yet nothing happens. He just breaks him. Now, you might be wondering, what, what is Samson doing? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. You might be wondering, does he know that there are Philistines in the room or Philistines in the house? Of course he does. Samson is feeling invincible. This is how he's lived his life. He's lived his life playing with grace. Taking advantage of grace. God blesses him and Samson, he begins to think that he is invincible. So we see that, that he breaks these bow strings so easily that she begins to see that he's mocking her. He's, she's, he's mocking her. So she looked at him and she says, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now please tell me where you may be bound or what you may be bound with. So he said to her, if they bind me securely with new ropes that have never been used, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Therefore, Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them and said to him, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. And the men were lying in wait, staying in the room, but he broke them off his arm like a thread. Now, I want you to just think about this. Just slow down and think about it. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, Text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Samson knows the enemy is there because he's on the enemy territory. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time doing the wrong thing. But because he has intruded on grace... Because he doesn't understand grace. He thinks because he's gotten away with it that he can keep on getting away with it. He don't realize that grace is going to run out on him, especially dealing with his strength. So he is playing with Delilah. He's playing her. He thinks he's in total control. That's a deception. Anytime anybody believes they're in total control, they have been deceived. If you believe that you cannot be deceived, you have been greatly deceived. So here is Samson. He has no reverence for God, no fear of God. He's in the enemy camp. And because he is anointed, I want you to hear that. He's anointed 
and he he's gifted and he's talented he think that his anointing and his gifting and his talents would just get him out of anything because he knows he's anointed he's been in situations like this before and he just go out and he just shake himself and he just break free you know he's gone and he's sinned and he's come back and he could still do whatever he was doing in the house of the lord and the anointing would still flow what a great deception what a great deception when people go and sin and do not take care of the sin and come back and the anointing is still there to sing, to preach, to teach, to play the musical instruments. They begin to think that God really doesn't care. Now, the one thing that the Lord says to us in Psalms number 50, the 50th Psalm, he said, you thought I was like you. You thought I was like you. You thought I behaved like you. And he says to them, you need to get yourself together before I tear you into pieces. And what God is saying to us, if we had the power, we would punish immediately. We would do it quickly because we don't have grace. We don't have that kind of patience that God has. So here is Samson. He believes he believes he's in total control. So he is manipulating and he thinks he is playing Delilah. He's lying to her. He never sees himself giving up his secret. He's just having some fun. But the problem with this is he's getting weaker and weaker. And as we go on in the story, you will see that Delilah, she knows that he is lying. She knows what he is telling her is not the truth. She is just waiting until he gets to a point, point where she has vexed him and been persistent long enough. If you do the wrong thing, it will take you to the wrong place. So Samson is doing the wrong thing. He is, he is in the wrong place. He is persistent because I'm anointed. I'm anointed. And I have seen myself go and I've done things wrong and I've come back and I can still perform. That's where Samson is. Brothers and sisters, that's a bad place to be. That's why we can learn from the life of Samson. And we don't have to make the same mistakes. See, here in the book of Judges, this was not written for Samson. This did not help Samson. In the book of Romans, it's very clear. That the word of God is written for us. It is written so we could learn. It is written for our admonition. It is, it is written so we could have comfort and hope through the scriptures. Now, you've heard me say that experience is not the best teacher. It is the most convincing teacher. But it is not the best teacher. The best teacher is to, to hear what God is saying, listen to the word of God, obey it, obey it. Because faith says, I believe what God says. I don't have to experience it to know that what God said not to do, I shouldn't do. So when you look at the life of Samson, we see Samson driven by his emotions. Every decision, every choice is emotionally driven. So now he don't realize he's in a Delilah temptation. And a Delilah temptation is a thing that was designed to take you to a place where God never intended for you to be there. I want you to stay tuned as we continue to study this. Look at Samson's life. Glean from his life. So we will not allow ourselves to be emotionally driven. Our decisions, our choices... And the things that are going on in our lives to be done based on our For emotions. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word... Join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. 
at our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship Service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you.